Hey, how you doing? Happy New Year and welcome to this new Pixelmat tutorial. In this Pixelmat tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a nice logo um, for whatever you want to use it for and then add, add a great effect called Page Curl. And um, it's really simple to do and it shouldn't take too long. You can do this with either text or the logo that I'll show you, that I'll show you how to create, or you can just import shapes and and do it with whatever you want to do. But yeah, let's get on and do it. So I'm going to go um, with... 1200 and my height is just going to be 720 so then when we f view the finished article at the end it will just fit nicely on the um, on the okay so once we're in pixel and the first thing I'm going to do is fill this background layer up here with um, with a gradient um, I've got this gradient here you can just I'm just going to select my gradient from my tools right here um, and my gradients pop up if I double click the gradient here likewise I can also press Command and 5 maybe on my keyboard which will show the gradient yep and I've just got a black gradient that's going into a licorice color it's it's simple it's a simple gradient um, and then I'm gonna I've got it on radial and then I'm just gonna drag that let me just make that black a little bit a little bit longer so and this is the my choice of background layer you can choose any background layer that you want to I'm then gonna go and select a um, shape so I'm gonna to go to my tools shapes and select my rounded rectangle shape with when you're selecting shapes you don't have to worry about um, creating new layers because as soon as you drag and drop the shape out it will create a new layer for you so this gradient I'm going to want to change I'm gonna change the for this orange color right here go to my colors and select the orange color for my for my stroke and on my gradient I'm gonna drop this to make a colour and I'm just going to make it a licorice colour or a black colour. Black? Yeah, black colour. That's white. Let's make a black colour. There we go. Um, you notice I've got a shadow and an inner shadow that I want to remove on this colour that I'm using right there. And I'm just going to drag this, the width up. I'm just going to double click and type 2. So my, the width of my border is 2, and now I can move this rounded rectangle into the middle of the screen. This styles palette sometimes, with the new sort of gradients and the, the, the stroke colours, it can get a bit confusing, but if you try and keep it as simple as possible, um, you're normally okay. So then I'm going to make some text, I'm going to go to my text tool, I'm going to drag my text out. Oh, it's already the, the size that I want. I'm just going to type in 13th design. Again, this is too big to create the text, so I'm just going to drag the text box out. And once more, I want this text filled with a gradient. So I'll go to my styles pane, fill with a gradient. The gradient I want is on my gradients palette, so I'm going to press command 5 select this gradient right here and then the stroke I want again this to be a color and I'm gonna make the stroke width two pixels so I just double click the two and press enter now you probably won't see it as much because it's the same color as the background so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna make this shape a little bit bigger to fit the actual text on so just highlight the shape and use the control points just to drag out the size so it's a little bit bigger. And I want it fitting tightly onto my shape. Go back to my text, drag it to the center of my shape, like so. And then what I'm gonna do is with my text highlighted in my layers pane over here, I'm gonna press shift on my keyboard, highlight my shape, press control, left click, and merge layers. So now I've merged the shape with the text and it's become a merged layer. So it's become a pixel la merge layer. So I can edit it and edit it as one. And I'm gonna drag it to roughly around the center. You can you could drag it and use the guidelines, I suppose. Um, but I'm just, I'm just gonna be there. Around the center, I'm not too fussed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click, control left click, and duplicate on this. And with this top design copy, I'm going to turn it off in my layers pane, which leaves this bottom one visible. 
I'm then going to go to my effects browser all the way to the top I'm going to double click this Gaussian blur drag the radius up to about 10 pixels it's already there so just drag it with this slide like, like so drag it up to about about 10 pixels like I said they have to be exactly accurate it's down to your um, to, to preference self preference and then I'm going to go to the motion and double click the motion with this um, bottom copy still highlighted in my layers pane double click the motion and the motion I want it to be um, the radius about 22 but the angle I want it to go up and down not left and right so just move the angle around to about minus 100 drag the radius up again to about to about 30 just so you got this elongated sort of stretch look and it's um, it's all blurred click OK so we're happy with that now I'm going to turn on my top copy with this top copy selected in my layers pane I scroll down to this page curl I'm going to double click the page curl and we get this little um, heads up display this little tool bar right here now you can just go ahead with the the sliders and and mess around with the time um, likewise with the angle you can change the angle which side it comes in from um, and also the radius that you can change but I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna go go ahead and highlight the figures I'm gonna highlight the time and just um, type 44 and press return on my keyboard <laughs> command command Z that's made a mistake page kill press 44 don't press enter on your keyboard or return your keyboard because it will just remove the tool and apply the effect and then I'm gonna do a um, minus 32 and then I'm gonna go for a 49.5 so I've got my top I got my time on 44 my angle on minus 32 and my radius on 49.5 and then I'm gonna press OK so now I've got this fantastic little page curl um, and it looks really good and the reason I have the bottom sort of um, layer showing in a blurred manner like this is because it also gives it it gives it more of a 3d effect so if I turn the bottom one off so you lose a little bit of, of depth or a depth of vision so the 3d effect removes itself a little bit it's still quite quite effective in itself but if I turn that bottom layer back on I'm sure you agree you get that that sort of stood back um, see-through vision um, so we're gonna go and export that out and and that's really simple and I'll be back with that my next video will be that space um, that space sort of um, scenario because quite a few people have asked that so thanks a lot for watching if you have any questions please leave them um, in the comments below and um, and yeah I'll catch you soon bye Oh,